Hello everyone. I hope you are doing well. So today, before discussing today's question, I just want to give you a quick update that हमारे जो OAC जैसे उनको तुमने काफी प्यार दिया and I really loved it and for that and इतना अच्छा चैनल पे रिस्पांस आ रहा है and that's why I started to think that what should I come with next. So I decided कि मैं एक उप सीरीज लेके आने वाला हूँ that will be on complete interview preparation with all the basics advanced level questions with interviews experiences jo bhi questions puche jaate hain right i will ask everything and i will cover everything in that playlist so if you are excited for that playlist do let me know in the comments and tomorrow is the launch video right oh, sorry today itself is the launch video so stay tuned okay so let's start with the problem as always if you are new to the channel make sure you to the subscribe button and like the video if you really love the content right so design movie rental system it is the tagged hard and again which i emphasize always it's a easy problem it's not a medium it's not a medium it's a easy problem we'll see we'll literally see it's a easy problem like i can bet if you just try hard and keep understanding it like it's not at all implementation wise hard as well like it's easy as thinking easy as that's reading the length the scarceness is oh tam bhaiya ye to nahi ho payega ho jayega ho jayega just try to keep doing it okay so start kare yes so you have a movie renting system consisting of n shops okay you want to implement a renting system that supports searching booking returning movies the system should also support generating a report of the currently renting movies okay so sometimes kya people sochte hain oh they is searching oh they must be try oh i cannot do this problem wait a second we should read the problem right okay each movie is given as like entries where entries of i equals to shop i movie i price i indicate that there is a copy of movie at shop i with a rental price of i okay what they are saying is that we have some movies data like there are some shops so what are what what are the entities available we have some movies okay we have some shops and we have some prices okay so obviously let's say movie name is bahubali here it is name by integers but okay and the shop is let's say shop 1 and the price is let's say 500 rupees same bahubali is there but at shop 2 they are giving it 300 rupees right so there could be multiple movies with the same name with the same id and then there could be at multiple shops and with the different prices right so this is the idea but this combination is unique like but a shop can have at most one movie of that type that they already specified here the shop carries at most one copy of a movie movie i fine ha bhaiya samajh mein aa gaya yahan tak till good good then the system should support the following function so is a design problem we have to see that so what they're saying is find the cheapest five shops that have unrented copy of a given movie okay we have to find the cheapest five shops that a particular movie ke corresponding kitni uh, cheapest thing hai. okay that means for a particular movie i want to keep track of what i want to keep track all the shops with their prices so note it down movie all prices comma shop pair sort of i have to keep track of so we'll think about it that how can we do that and also let's try to read what is the constraint shop should be sorted by the price in the ascending order means the cheapest should come on the top okay and in case of a tie the one with a smaller shop i should appear first so it's not a it's an ideal situation for a set right that you make a pair of prices comma shop i and then what are you going to do and map it into the movie that's all and if there less than five matching shops then it all should be returned if no shopping shop have the unrented copy then an empty should, should be returned so what do you think from reading this thing the thing instantaneous thing that comes to my mind is that for a particular movie which is integer i just need to create a set of what i want to say to create a pairs you can do that but you can do a vector as well that's also fine you can do a 
pair as well for more optimization but in general directly you can do that and this is unrented why i thought about it so very simple intuition why because i already told you that what we have you want to sort them firstly on the basis of prices then on the basis of shop so what does a set do is keep the in, on the sort sorted order the sorted order me karta yaar to prices chahiye pehle and then if there is a try then the shop this is an ideal 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 situation for a set fine but what we want to do we want to keep the track for a particular movie that's why i use a map in all the prices comma shop yeah, right so let's say movie is there one and shop is there two then price is there 550 rupees the move same movie is at shop 3 then it's 100 rupees so i need to keep in this order fine i think hope you understood that then quickly uh, re- rents a unrented copy of a given movie from a given shop okay what we have to do we want to rent it so sort of in a way what if we want to remove from our unrented right remove from unrented and add to rented that's all right okay this is fine what is drop drop of a previously rented copy that means is just a positive of above ya fir remove from rented means pan ko wapas kar deni hai usko so we move from rented and again add to unrented add to unrented okay no problem what's next report this is another good thing report return the cheapest five rented movies now it's global a return a cheapest five rented movie possible at the same movie id as a 2d list of response of j equals to shop of j movie j that what they are saying is that ab kya karna hai apan ko that we have five rented movies we have to tell like it could be of the same movie id also they already specified that make the problem more simpler that okay whatever you have to maintain a rented set as well they again specified right okay we want to maintain a rented set now what are the pairs how to store them that's very important so firstly we want the shop and then a movie but sorted on the basis of price right so firstly first column should be price then they should told if there is a tie then there should be movie thing movie should be compared and movies also tie then you should compare oh, sorry firstly mo- shop should be compared and then movie should be compared right so it's again very very simple right what are you going to do what are you going to do again you have to keep track of rented movies so they again we have to create now we don't need to create it's a global thing right it's not our, again a, against a particular movie all the movies are in this collection so you can say that rented you can keep as a set of matter of end that's all right directly because why want to keep what do you want to keep in here this rented and you want to keep the passes first price why price because you want to sort on the basis of price if price is same then you do with shop and shop is also same we'll do on the basis of movie it is simple that's all done problem is solved nothing else is they just mentioned these things and these criteria and just this case be generated let's try to quickly go through the example and then i will show you understanding and thought process of implementing every fun right let's see quickly go to the example so what they are trying to say okay we have initialized the movie system right we have size 3 and we have how many movies so we have this zero this movie this movie and this movie i think we have more movies but okay yeah i is not three movies a uh, three you can say movies are there and movies are there but yeah there could be multiple copies of that right so we have 0 1 5 0 2 6 0 3 7 one one four one two seven two one five so the order was what was the order they, they initially mentioned right shop movie price so this is shop movie price okay so we will do on the basis of obviously we'll create our maps right so unrented may what will be there right batao kya hoga one may it would be we have to keep track of shop comma price comma shop pair okay so firstly we'll keep 5 comma 0 then we will keep correspondingly 4 comma 1 and then for movie 1 this this and this will be picked so again this will be price is 5 so we will do like this okay this will be stored in one thing right against the one map 
and then for two uh what is the movie this is two is there and three is there okay for correspondingly two movie only there are two entries available so one would be 6,0 and that other would be 7,1 right this is the price vector this is a source thing it's not shop thing this is price this is shop and this is again for third there's only one movie seven comma six i hope you, these are the shop ids right price comma shop this we have done that we have created this map firstly we will create this map right unmanned un, unrented map from when we are giving with these all the movies now we will do the operations what they are trying to say now they try to say search search what will do top five movies for a particular movie which movie they are talking about uh, they are talking about the first movie so since it is already mentioned that there are only three movies left they will return all of them but in this order in this order right so we will return in this order so one zero we just need to return the shop ids no prices are required so this is have to be done one then zero and then two did that okay fine then what you have to do we have to rent a particular movie so which movie you have to rent you have to rent zero comma one zero comma one means we are given with a shop id and we are given with movie id so at shop zero we want to rent movie one okay we add shop zero and we want to rent movie one so this one only eight so uh at, it was there how it was like oh god it was like the rent rent was implemented it's shop and movie right okay so it was a shop and movie so we have zero comma ah yeah this one only right this one there yeah. this one and this one so we'll remove that because this now is been removed from here and it will be added to our rented thing rented was empty initially it will be filled with firstly again with the price now with the shop and then with the movie right this is added to rented now very very interesting thing is you will ask me how will we get the prices we were not getting the prices here right the prices thing is also there right so we have to maintain one, one more thing to maintain the price of a particular movie at particular shop then that would be using another 2d map you can say that you can create a 2d map as well that is like a map of end of how you create a 2d map map of end of end that will keep off all the prices this will keep off all the prices at a particular shop at a particular shop in a particular movie right these i already told you because this will help us because we cannot keep track of movies right we are just only we are giving with shop and movie id we are not giving with the price id right so if we remove from want to remove from the rented thing the unrented thing how will we remove that we can do only with the help of this price if we have to maintain the price thing okay so that's why we remove added the rented thing okay and this is removed from here this is removed from here okay now what's next again we have to rent okay what we have to rent one comma two again what we have to do we have to go to shop one uh we have to go to the shop one yes and then we have to move, rent the movie two okay so movie we have to rent two and we have to go to shop one remove that 271 is there right so it's like 271 that is like seven price first and then what the movie was two and the shop was one so we added to the rented okay no problem i am adding also this are also added in the sorted order of the prices right hamiya bilkul sahi baat hai and then what we need to do okay we want to report it now report means rented wala thing and then this will be returned 0112 should be written like that 0112 right firstly the shop movie shop movie this is done and then what we want to do report we have done then we have to drop that drop means remove from the rented one now what we want to drop we want to drop 1 comma 2 now we have to remove this and again put there okay so we want to remove this so we have to again add it here 7 comma 1 okay we added it and then again it it got searched again it got searched and it's now for 2 and then what we need to do we need to it got searched for 2 and then we need to return 0 and 1 right there are two movies remaining here 
zero and one. We need to return. We return the zero and one. So I hope you understood the entire intuition. Yes, I think there are actually how many maps we created. We created three maps. One for keeping the price. One keeping for rented asset and a movie thing keeping for particular movie. All the particular shop comma price pair, right? And then we need all are keeping in sorted order. Why set keeps all in sorting, increasing sorted order. This set also keep in sorted and increasing order, and this will create us the price. We'll see why this price was needed in the implementation. But this no import other logic is required here. Let's quickly move to the code and understand the problem. Okay, so what he has made a rented thing, an unrented thing. And I use an order map because it complexity is better. You can use map as well. Int and then a set of int, right? Particular shop comma I pairs. You can use a pair as well. That would be better complexity. And an order map and an, it's a 2D map of prices. Okay. I go into the entries. Firstly, I fetch the shop. I fetch the movie. I fetch the price of that particular movie. And then what I did, that unrented of movie becomes a set. I will insert it. The price and the shop. Make sure to maintain the order. Order should be maintained, right? Order maintain on a chee, bilkul sahi baat hai. And then what you do? You gonna do a price of movie comma shop. You can do a reverse thing as well because both are fine. At a particular shop, this movie, or at a particular movie, this shop, you can reverse the order as well. There's no problem. Okay, but the combined should be there. This price is needed. I will let you know why the price is needed. Now for the searching part. We'll see that oh, this particular movie is available in our unrented sta space or not. If it is available, which is written an empty vector, we can skip that step as well because it will maybe won't enter into this while loop. It but it's always better to do that, right? To make sure null checks. Now what you gonna do is okay if you go on and go in unrented movie like we are iterating now in the unrented movies space, right? That okay, this particular movie. What are the shop common prices pair there? And already they are in the sorted order, right? I will pick the shop and I will just pick push into the answer vector. And obviously, if the size becomes five, I just break it out because I just need the top five. Okay. Now what I gonna do? I want to rent it out. Now how to rent it out? It's very simple. We now here it's very very important. If we want to rent it out because we have to remove from the unrented thing and add to the rented thing. We don't have the price of this movie. We need to keep track of the price of the movie. That's why we need the price movie comma shop will erase from the unrented movie. This I will remove from here. What I did? It's nothing. Just fancy. Okay, you can do directly a p comma shop also erase directly p comma shop. But this is always better. Why? This is a better complexity because it's we are removing by iterator. By prime, and then we are removing by iterator. This is a better method. Okay, so what we are doing? We are removing from unrented because we are renting this movie, and we added to rent it. That's what I showed you, right? But the order is also very very important. Firstly, price, then shop, then movie. Fine. Drop means now the reversal thing. We are removing from rented thing again. We need the price. That's why we made, we made this array. Oh, um, uh, sorry, map, and then unrented we have added, right? Again, added this movie to the unrented thing, and then finally this report thing. A similar thing. We now iterate in rented. We find the shop, find the movie because rented is contain a set of vectors, and it's like answer of push. And then whenever you got a five, that means you still done enough. So it's just very simple. Yeah, just you start thinking what the problem is saying. Right, create always create maps and vectors and sets in design problems. Okay, what we need to do. Okay, this is how we want to maintain. I, I thought, okay, for a particular movie, this is needed. So that's why I created a map from this to set because it was clearly mentioned. It was a particular movie. I need that thing, so I need to create that mapping. But I I realize, oh, price also needed. The two D map intuition will come. Oh, price was also needed because I cannot know the price only a movie and shop data. I will be given. I won't be given the price data, right? That I have to store. That you can do that. Another thing is rented is fine. Removing and deleting thing. Just mere things of maps, right? So I hope you understood the entire intuition. And if you understood the entire intuition, make sure to hit the like video and subscribe to the channel. We're coming with the Oops playlist. I'm pretty excited with the response we are getting on the channel. Make sure to keep doing that for ever, and then see you in the next video.